All right, guys, I want to make this quick video. Um, so right now we have a test that I was doing this morning showing the difference between this one and this one. These are actually both printed at eight pass. I don't know if you guys can really see on camera, but this one, let me bring it in more into the light. This one is a lot, is a little bit less vibrant than this one in regards to white. We can actually show you on the front too as well. You notice the greens are a little different, just a hair different. This one's more in the... You want me to hold it right here? Yeah, if you could hold it, that'd be great. There. Okay. So, we have this green. Let me try to pull it out. You can kind of see the greens are a little different, um, but again, the camera doesn't really show it justice. We also have it here, the white in the background. This one's, this one's a lot more see-through than that one. On camera, the best of my ability. So, this is what happens when you first print sometimes, you always wanna do your head cleaning. So I printed this just to see what it would, after um, just coming and printing it, I did like two or three head cleanings normal, and this is how it printed at eight pass. But I know my eight pass is really white like this. See how you can kind of see the colors, and then this one, if you can't really see it. This really is how white uh, pass is. It's extremely saturated, great colors, a lot of white put down onto the film. So I knew that something was wrong. So when I did this, I did a bunch of head cleanings, strong head cleanings, and then I got to this. So that's why I label this one eight, eight bad for eight pass bad. This one's eight good for eight pass good. Then after I printed that one, I said, you know what? Everything is running good. Let me go ahead and print a six pass. And if you notice a six pass, you know, it's never gonna, six pass is never gonna be um, as much white or as much color as eight. It's just not because it's only going six passes. It's not going two extra passes, but these two are very close in saturation, but you can, you'll also see a different color. That one is a little darker, those greens, and these greens are a little lighter. So a lot of people print either at four or six for speed, because this six is very fast and you get great color. Four is extremely fast, but you're not gonna get nowhere near as much color as six, and definitely not as much as eight. We prefer eight, but if it's like a low resolution image, we will print at six pass, just so this way it's kind of like smacked in and the middle is kind of perfect. I just wanted to show you guys um, the differences that we have. And then we also have another eight pass here. So look at the difference between that six and that eight. See how the alligator gets darker? So we love to print at eight pass. A lot of people don't. Um, if you were to get this transfer right here and press it, you'd be like, that's perfect. It's, it looks really good. But whenever you look at the scope, look how that one's bad because it's too much neon in the, in the alligator. You get to this one, and it's better, it's more color accurate. This one is same color accuracy, except this one's six pass and it's a lot lighter. This one's back to eight pass, as you can see, it's darker. So I'll take a picture of that. You can see that this one's darker. And then we also have the six pass good where I've got it actually dialed in really well. So you can see, you can see the slight difference, but I've got great color here, great color accuracy here. But this is what happens when you start your one, two, three, four, five. I'm on my fifth test before I print my actual customer's test because I want to dial in my machine every single time that I print. This is extremely important. So we're actually going to press it right now. We're going to do the good eight versus the good six. We're going to press it. Again, this is an instant pill film and Shelly's going to whip it up and we're going to press it and we're going to look at the differences. All right, sorry, I messed up. All right, so... Shelly's kind of trimming it out. Six. That is six on top, and this is eight on the bottom. And you really can't tell the difference, and that's what you want. When your colors are dialed in, your six pass should look dang near as good as your eight. If you have a drastic difference, um, like that one and this one, it's okay. People, like I said, people do print that, but we have six on the left, and uh, back up a little bit, directly on the left. So you guys can see the eight on the right is a lot darker. This is actually a great thumbnail. Yeah, a lot deeper green. Um, it is a little deeper green, but you can't tell me that if you were given, if you didn't know that this eight pass existed and we were to send you this, it'd be great. But whenever we're doing high resolution images, we always go at eight. So let's go ahead and press it. The blues too. I'm just looking at, I know I'm talking about the greens, but look at the blues, the reds, the oranges. There's not really a lot of red. And the blacks though, the blacks and whites are always always spot on. So Chella's gonna go ahead and press it. This is our instant peel film. It is available on the website. Oh, can you do it? All right, and one second press. I mean, one second peel, it's very quick. Lift it up, eight seconds, 300. Wop, wop, go. Oh, it's hot, go, go. I don't get scared. There we go. Okay, one more press. One more press. 
Ooh. And again, we use our fill. We've been testing it out. We've had great results. How it pushes the into the shirt. And you guys can see here with the fabric as the steam comes off. If I sent you this six pass, you're gonna be like, this is amazing. Don't pay attention to that right there. The thing in the, in the nose, that was my roller. <laughs> that was my roller that was an issue. So again, that's another reason why I do so many tests before I actually print my customer stuff. Because right now, and I'll let Chili get some pictures here, if I were to, you know, what I could do in this scenario, I could say, well, this is the competitor and this is ours. What all I'm doing is printing at eight pass. But a lot of people are sending six and four and six pass. And again, we do too. It just depends on the resolution. If it's not a high resolution image, we're going to do six pass and knock it out. Especially if it's a 120 or even more, we're gonna knock it out. But if it's like a super high resolution image, or if even if it was this image right here, we would do it at eight pass because we want you to have those darker green, not necessarily even darker green, just, um, I call it more accurate, right? These colors seem like it's more accurate to the, to the actual picture. But yes, so this is what we do. Um, again, you can print at whatever you want. They both look great. And then uh, if you pull in here, you can see where it's in, like in the shirt. See, look at that. It's in the shirt. And that's because of our film with that five layer film, five layer matte film. And there's a reason why it's matte because that's the extra, that's the extra spray on there to absorb the more ink. That's the reason why once Chelly lifted it and peeled it and then pressed it again, you see how vibrant it is, even at six pass. So just, just some tips out there for you guys. If you guys are printing, flash cuts and transfers are always here to show you guys as much information as possible. Both look great. Leave a comment down below, which one you like? Maybe. This one is more accurate for you. Maybe that one isn't, right? Darker isn't, um, and, you know. Six I, pass, eight pass. Yes, yeah, six pass, eight pass. Let us know which one you like down below in the comments, down below in the comments. <laughs> I don't know, I like them both. I like them both. I think we could definitely send this and people will be very happy. I think we could definitely send that one. Mm -hmm. And sometimes somebody might be like, hey, my green is too dark. You never know, right? But either way, our color profile is extremely accurate to how this picture looks on our computer. Stay tuned for the next video.